The only way to break the hold of self on your life is to receive the giving grace. I'm sure you agree it takes some grace to pay a tithe of 40 million at a time or 50 million. How many agree with that? Hmm. But there are people in this room today that in your lifetime you will pay a tithe of a billion. There are four ways we give to be blessed. Four main ways. Come and say four main ways. One, it says lay up your treasures in heaven. And what does that mean? Seek ye first the kingdom of God in your givings. In your givings. Matthew 6 and 33. If you start from 24, it talks about you cannot serve God and mammon you know, and so on and so forth, and talking about your given life, and he said, why don't you lay up your treasures in heaven where the moth and the dust cannot reach? And he said, why are you anxious about tomorrow? What we eat, what we drink? After this into Gentile, see, your heavenly father knows that you have need of them. But seek ye first with your giving the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things, what will happen? They shall be added unto you. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. And God so loved the world he gave. So you give to prove that you love the Lord. So you give for his cause. You give for his kingdom. Can I hear your amen? amen. And number two way you give, you give to the poor. Come and say to the poor. Proverbs 28 and verse 27. He that giveth to the poor shall not lack. But he that hideth his face shall have many a cause. You give to the poor. He that giveth to the poor shall not lack. Blessed is he that considered the Lord poor, the Lord shall preserve him and keep him alive. Come and say, keep him alive. It will keep you alive, keep your company alive, because you consider the poor. Psalm 41, verse 1 to 3. Number 3, give in to your parents. Which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you. Can I hear your amen? that it may be well with you and that you may prolong your days on the earth. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 and 2. That it may be well with you. And you know, what Jacob gave was to his parents. Can I hear your amen? He gave to what? To his parents. He gave a venison to his father and he poured his heart on him. He poured his heart on him. He poured his heart on him. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment which promise, that it may be well with you, and that, that thou mayest live long upon the earth. How do you honor them? With your givings. He said, honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thy earnings. So shall thy bowels be filled with plenty. So to honor your father means to make available to them things that will make life comfortable for them. Can I hear your amen? That's given. That's given. And then this may not sound that important to you, but it's so important to God. Giving to your family. Come and say giving to the family. Giving to your family. The Bible says whoever does not take care of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. He has denied the faith. He has disconnected from the covenant. And there will be no reflection of the kingdom of life on him. Giving to your family. First Timothy. Thank you, Jesus. We all agree it is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich, and it adds no sorrow to it. It is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich, and it adds no sorrow to it. It is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and adds no sorrow to it. In 1 Timothy 5, 8, But if any provide not for his own house, for his own, and especially for those of his own house, what happens? He has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. He has denied the faith. And it's worse than an infidel. So when you are not providing for your house, 
you are disconnecting from the flow and the blessings of the covenant. It's so important. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. And number five is given to the prophet. Given to the prophet. There are some individuals that are sent across your way as the channels to your blessings. I have them in my life. None of them will ever say to you in your life, I'm a channel to your blessings. No. God opens your eyes to see them. God opens your eyes to see them. I have such channels in my life. Oh, what a blessed system it is as it works. There are such human agents that are brought your way as God's channels for his blessings in your life. God sent Elijah to the widow of Zarephath for her sustenance. She was not only sustained in famine when her son died, Elijah was on the spot to bring him back to life. Can I hear your amen? amen? Instead of looking for collection of prayers all your life, connect with the covenant. You won't remain a prayer subject. The blessings will be flowing unhindered. You will know this is the blessing flowing from the Lord. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen. Many years ago, the Archbishop Bess in the house of blessed memory who were up there in Benin yesterday for the marriage of his last daughter. And you see, he said to me, look, open that bag, my son. And I opened the bag. It was money all out. In those days, it was only 20 naira maximum, you know, denomination. He said, take as much as you want. I smiled. I said, I don't want. He said, do me, I can give you money? I said, you can. I would rather learn how to get it than have someone give it to me. Friends, it's been gone 11 years. If you were the source from where I was collecting, I'd be stranded today. Amen? From today, giving will no longer be a burden to you. Whatever Abraham experienced, you will experience it in your life. The greatest man in the East, operated by the covenant together, the greatest men and women in this generation, they are emerging from this assembly today. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. God sent me as a covenant messenger of liberation from all oppression of the terrible. That you have been blessed by today's teaching. To get more materials and resources online, visit our website at www.davidoidepartmentry.org.